In the late 1800s, there was something called the Dolls Rolls, which was basically a census that made records of people's ethnic backgrounds in order to determine which Native American tribes would get certain land allotments and other benefits. After slavery, many black people were associated with some of these tribes by bloodline, through marriage, through adoption, and even servitude. And because they were associated with these tribes, many black people were entitled to some of these benefits. The government did not want blacks to get these benefits, so they created a separate freedmen's list specifically for black people. They also started to list any full-blooded Native American who had African features as black because they didn't want them getting those benefits either. At the same time, they allowed white citizens to come in and pay money under the table to be listed as part Native American. Uh, 1890, 1895 and 1896, when a lot of the whites found out the benefits that, that, these, that these blacks were going to be entitled to, a lot of whites went to the Dawes Commission and said, look, uh, why don't you put my name on there? They said, but you're not an Indian. So that's what they said, well, I'll give you $5. So the, the, the rule they got around, the posse got around that, that for $5, that a white could put his name on the dolls rolls and be called himself an Indian and be entitled to all these benefits and all their children could be entitled to all these benefits forever. And so that's, that became known as what's called a $5 Indian. And so if you go around now and check most of the Indians, the so-called Indians in America, about 90% of them are not even Indians. Those are just whites now who are passing as Indians and but they're getting all the benefits and they're not paying any taxes, getting free college education. They put up a little reservation on the land that they don't live on. They have another home off uh, and get all kind of benefits. Iron Eyes Cody was another famous Native American person. Um, he was in the media for years. Um, in the 1970s, they utilized him for this uh, pollution commercial. He was known as the Crying Indian. So he was a very well-known Native American in um, American culture, but the reality is Iron Eyes Cody wasn't Native American at all. He was Sicilian. Both of his parents were from Sicily. So he didn't have one drop of Native American blood in him. He was another fake Indian. This is a public service announcement. The following presentation contains controversial information and ideas that could change the way you view the world. What you see and hear may soon compel you to take action. Viewer discretion is advised. As we know, if in 1963, all of us, all our elders knew that they were Indian, the question is, why didn't they tell the generations after? Why didn't they tell the generations after? Why didn't they tell the generations after what their birthright was? Of all the people buried here in historic Hollywood cemetery, including presidents, generals, and statesmen, few have had the impact of Dr. Walter Plecker. His stormy legacy continues today. Plecker was a menace to, to Virginia Indians over many years. Well, Dr. Plecker was convinced that there was a need to purify the white race. He thought that he was preserving the Commonwealth of Virginia, that he was maintaining the United States of America, and most importantly to him, that he was protecting the white race. For 34 years, starting in 1912, Dr. Plecker was the director of the state's Bureau of Vital Statistics, carefully compiling birth and death records. Anyone who had one drop of other than white blood was listed as color. They were mongrels, in his view. Virginia Indians particularly felt his wrath. Quote, like rats when you're not watching, he wrote, they've been sneaking in their birth certificates through their own midwives. You know, we couldn't claim we were Indian. It was against the law to say we were Indian. It was against the law to say we were Indian. It was against the law to say we were Indian. What do we claim? You know, uh, we're not black, and, and we're not white. Whole groups of people who formerly were um, recognized among the tribes of Virginia simply disappeared from the records. They were no longer considered to be Native Americans or Indians, as they were called. Their children were not recognized uh, as members of the tribes, and they're living with that legacy right now. Plecker and his many supporters believe not only that races should never intermarry, they shouldn't even mingle. 
Strict segregation would last for generations. We blame Plecker, but he gave it to a very hungry audience. They ate it up. Indeed, Plecker was seen as a heroic figure in an era when genetic engineering was becoming mainstream. The eugenics movement was white supremacy cloaked in science. Its supporters were many and influential, from leading academics at University of Virginia to wealthy industrialists. The Richmond Times-Dispatch editorialized in 1924 that racial intermingling would ruin the white man. Quote, once a drop of inferior blood gets in his veins, he descends lower and lower in the mongrel scale. That was the year the General Assembly passed the Racial Integrity Act, narrowly defining race and making it illegal for whites to marry anyone of any other race. Plecker wrote to the governors of the rest of the states, urging them to pass similar laws to save the white race. The Racial Integrity Act, which Plecker pushed, stood until 1967, stood until 1967, stood until 1967, when the appropriately named Loving case about an interracial couple led to a U.S. Supreme Court reversal. But the damage to Virginia's Indian tribes continues. There are more than 560 federally recognized Indian tribes in the country, but none of Virginia's tribes, the ones that helped the settlers survive, have that crucial recognition because Walter Plecker did everything he could to destroy evidence of their existence. Just because somebody told you in school that that is your story, because they said it's not your story. <laughs> 